Hi guys, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick overview and step-by-step -step demo of the platform supported migration for Azure Classic VM to Azure Resource Model Manager Model. I'm also discussing some troubleshooting tips uh, which are useful if you face any migration issues. So if that sounds good, stay tuned. You know, Microsoft announced public preview of Azure back in 2008. Uh, it was very early days of Azure, uh, it was mainly offering uh, cloud services, PaaS VMs and storage like blob, queues and table. And over time, uh, as Azure evolved, they realized that they need a new control plane to expand new capabilities. So they decided to upgrade ASM, Azure Service Manager, to what is known today as Azure Resource Manager. ASM been in service since 2011 and the retirement is now announced for end of 2024. There's a lot of service being retired. Um, Classic VM is on top of the list, uh, which has already been retired by the way in September 2023. So I'll put a link into the description so you can check all the uh, full list of service being retired. Let's have a look um, what is changing. Um, from this picture, uh, you can see the difference between control plane and the data plane, right? Um, so control plane is basically where you perform operations like start, stop a VM, adding a disk, uh, deploy your virtual network, uh, or when you make a API calls, or any other interaction to Azure resources, either via Azure Portal, or Azure CLI, or PowerShell. A data plane, however, um, uh, uh, is the same between uh, ASM and uh, Azure Resource Manager stacks. The difference is that during the migration process, Microsoft translates uh, the representation of uh, resources from ASM model to uh, Azure Resource Manager stack. And that's it. Will there be any downtime? Um, actually, zero downtime if, you, if your VM is part of the VNet. There's no interruption to your workload, um, so you can connect to it uh, like RDP or SSH or do whatever you normally do day-to-day -day operations uh, simply because during the migration, there's no uh, change to underlying hardware or network or any storage. Uh, so, um, However, um, you cannot execute any of the control plane uh, operation as we discussed earlier, uh, start, stop um, and um, Things, uh, operations like that or delete. In the second scenario here, um, if your VM is not part of the VNet, then it will be stopped, deallocated and started. Or you can request platform to create a new virtual network uh, and migrate the VM into that network or simply use any existing uh, VNet in the ARM side so you can, uh, you can to avoid any disruption uh, during the migration process. The migration experience. Um, so, very quickly, look into different stages of the migration. Uh, validate basically uh, tells you whether your resources can be validated or not. Um, we will look into uh, some troubleshooting uh, tips later on if it fails. Uh, prepare basically uh, create a representation of resources in ARM, um, so you can see as they were in ARM resource, but they are just representation, so you cannot do any perform uh, or any actions on it check um, you can uh, after prepare you can test um, the, your environment um, and see if there's any issues um, about basically you can you have option uh, is there if you want decide to stop the process and commit basically uh, if once you hit the commit there's no revert back uh, is permanent right so let's start with the demo uh, by the way before we start the demo I would love to to show you uh, quickly uh, um, available features and tools between uh, Azure Resource Manager and ASM. You get much more in ARM side. Right then, um, uh, we're looking at the VMs in ARM side. Uh, I'm switching to Classic. So I got two, uh, three uh, uh, Classic VMs. I'm gonna migrate two of them for this demo. Um, you get the reminder there telling you that the retirement deadline has reached uh, after 10th of October, uh, the VM is permanently stopped and not be able to start again. 
right um, so to begin the migration uh, scroll down uh, and select uh, migrate to arm you can you can also initiate from the classic vnet by the way I don't need to come to VM but I'm gonna show you from here from the VM here there's another message there telling you that uh, VM will be migrated uh, with the VNet that's fine uh, click on simply on validate uh, to complete the first stage validation process is very quick um, I'm fast forwarding here by the way but it's very quick uh, it's under two three minutes uh, once it's passed it gives you a summary of the resources being migrated altogether uh, if you confirm if you're happy then uh, move, we can move to the next stage uh, by clicking on prepare uh, there's another uh, warning message below uh, as you can see um, uh, basically telling you that vnet and other resources are locked and read only state at this moment until the migration completes uh, or you have to abort the uh, process once prepare is completed you can check uh, and start testing if needed So let's have a look on um, on the v, uh, classic VMs and see if I can see the objects being replicated or the created in the arm side. Yep, uh, I got two of my VMs there now um, with that the new resource group and still running. Uh, yeah, VM uh, is still running. No interruption there. So now take a look on the VNet side and see if it's ready uh, yeah yeah all looks good to me uh, we can complete the migration now um, just type yes and hit the commit button I'm gonna fast forward a little bit uh, but entire operation um, from validation to commit took less than five minutes for me once this completed we can double check all the resources of my VNet as well as two VMs I migrated uh, make sure that they are created in ARM, available in ARM, and no leftover uh, in uh, Azure Service Manager side. I'm looking at the VNet actually. Um, I can still see two VNets, but in theory I should only have one. But you need to leave a couple of minutes, uh, and it will disappear. Uh, same goes for the VM. Uh, yes, I can only see one VM. Uh, I had three before, so both of them now migrated. I don't see any classic, uh, I, I can only see one classic VM, which is a good sign. And my VM is still running, uh, no interruption at all, um, as we discussed earlier on. Take a look on troubleshooting tips. Um, VM extension, extensions are the most common failures uh, related to the migrations. Uh, for example, if you have a BG Info uh, extension installed on the VM, it will fail uh, because uh, XML XML extensions are not supported in ARM, so make sure you remove them before migration um, start. Uh, role state unknown, uh, another common issue. Uh, uh, make sure that the the naming formats are supported. Uh, for example, you can have a, a disk which uh, uh, naming format is not supported in ARM model. Endpoint ACL. Uh, make sure you remove ACLs uh, before the migration start. Make sure about uh, some quota limits. Uh, make sure you have enough uh, amount of quota in ARM side to accommodate incoming resources from uh, ASM. Policies also, uh, sometimes you know you get policies in ARM which are preventing creating uh, or adding new resources or you don't have simply have permission to do that. Uh, so make sure you remove them or uh, adjust them accordingly. Make sure to delete uh, backup snapshot extensions uh, from the VM before start the migration. Um, these are the most common uh, issues we see. I will also include um, uh, errors, common common errors, and frequently asked questions into the description so you get a detailed uh, documentation about those issues. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, I hope this um, this was useful. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. See you later.